Okay, friends, so I just finished my tranny workout. And uh, I'm sensing that um, I'm supposed to share this particular um, thought pattern that I have um, about a certain situation. And my heart is beating like crazy because first of all, I think that it's going, well, I don't wanna speak that over myself. It, it's certainly unpopular for me if I just live from a place of ego and uh, self-righteousness and logic. It's offensive. But if I allow myself to sink deeper into my higher self and allow myself to be open to the quantum field, the, um, the field of pure potential, endless possibilities, it resonates. So I'm gonna unpack this to you. <clears throat> I have two parents, a mom and a dad, who very early in my life um, left. And uh, then there was you know, some abuse and very, very, very difficult times. And I sank into the deep end of victimhood and that lack mentality for a lot of years. And it was powerless. And uh, back a few years ago, I decided, well, enough of that shit. Um, let me see if there's a different way I can do this. And <clears throat> I, uh, walking in the footsteps of Jesus, um, I decided that I was going to forgive, which at first was just a very noble act. And then it began to grow into a frequency that I actually became and I came into a space of truly forgiving. And uh, Jesus showed me a picture of uh, the woman uh, caught in the adultery and the Pharisees, Sadducees, and wise old men over there throwing stones. And Jesus, you know, kind of drew, drew a line in the sand and, you know, said, and y'all who haven't sinned, go ahead and throw the th first stone. And... Uh, course they all left and he said to the woman neither do I condemn you Jesus showed me this picture and he said I want to show you where you are Lise and I thought well I'm going to be the woman caught in adultery because you know my mom dad they're throwing stones at me and poor me and this and that and God said yep <clears throat> here we go let me show you who you are and uh, I was the Sadducee and the Pharisee and the wise old man in all of my self-righteousness throwing a stone uh, or trying to throw stones or throwing stones at my, uh, specifically my dad, but also my mom. I was appalled. I was like, what? That, that's just like, what? That doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> and I sensed what unpacked in me is this particular scenario. And it has continued to grow in me over the years. And it, it resonates so deeply and comforts me and empowers me so brilliantly and so thoroughly that I've come to believe that it's, it's truth. And so I share it with you to ponder. What if before I incarnated in this particular body, this Lisa body, this Lisa personality, what if before then there was a meeting of the minds of a group of people who wanted to incarnate into the earth to experience itself, its God consciousness in a body? And what if technically they're all one? Technically they're all one and then they fractaled off and became each a little different personality, but they're all one. So they're all this God consciousness, okay? And they fractaled off to be able to create a scenario and have an experience. So one fractal off is me, one fractal off is my dad, one fractal off is my mom, among others, but those three. And those three had a conversation before they got in and they said, all right, we want to experience absolute unconditional love in the form of forgiveness. And all three of us, as God consciousness split into three, the fractal said, oh, that sounds like a freaking awesome time. So one of us said, okay, 
I will be the one who is offended and gets to experience the forgiveness, unconditional love in my body. And that'll be, let's call her Lisa. Okay, all right, that sounds good. She'll be the kid. Then one of them says, okay, I'll be the mom and I'll leave when you're 14, never to come back again. Okay. And then the last one called my dad says, and I will do the bravest thing of all. I will be your dad and I will hurt you. I will leave you, reject, in, reject you, abandon you, allow other people to hurt you. And I will not step up for you. I will not acknowledge you as my daughter, nor will I acknowledge my grandchildren. Because that'll really upset you, won't it, Lisa, when you're on earth? And the Lisa, absolutely, that'll do it. And um, then uh, this, this uh, fractal of God that is me, that is called my dad in this life, says, and you will misunderstand me for many, many years. You will become embittered and experience a lack mentality and victimhood until you finally wake up and remember this whole thing happened. It'll take you almost 60 years. But that's the scenario that we're gonna that we're gonna create when we get down there. Oh, and then by the way, we have to forget. We have to forget so that we can truly experience it. Because if we remember that's what we're doing, it's not quite the same. So let's forget that, that we decided to do that. One God consciousness split into three fractals to experience itself waking up to unconditional love, which is its true nature. And I thought, well, they, if, if wow, if that's the situation and it resonates with me, then isn't my dad the bravest soul ever? Isn't he something else? Because I think, I, I don't know whether he's remembered that this was his <laughs> part in my life or not. We, we don't uh, have a relationship. But it changed my frequency, my experience towards my dad from one of, mm, you know what I'm saying? And that makes me, he's the bully and I'm the victim. And I swam in that deep end for a freaking long time until I dragged my ass out followed in the footsteps of Jesus who said, Father, forgive them. They have no idea what they're doing. And, 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 and hung out in that self-righteous space for a while until it became more than a notion and an idea and a, and a rule to follow. And it became an empowering truth that I uh, hold as a frequency, as my identity, as my truest self, as God consciousness. And what happened is, is that I find myself being so grateful for my dad and my mom, being absolutely grateful because that was, that was some heavy shit that they did. It's me. And that's the thing that I guess I wanted to express is that today on the treadmill, at the end of my workout, I came to yet another layer of revelation and that that is that dad, that mom, they're me. They're me. Not only are they reflections of me, but they are God consciousness also. We are all fractals of the God consciousness. There is no separation. There is no other. So this was a story that we all, oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Wow, I am really integrating this into my physical body. <laughs> this is a story that we all created outside of time to come into time so that we could experience ourselves as God consciousness. Slow down and skin.
and I'm just so grateful. Thanks for listening. You're helping me integrate. <laughs> oh, I feel more powerful than ever, more full of love and grace and peace that surpasses understanding. I feel more vulnerable, authentic. Oh my goodness. I love you guys. Here's a hug.